and that was the event for my generation that every day was uh, checking the uh, uh, ducktails what Disney cartoons and finally it was interrupted and it was announced unfortunately Mr. Prime Minister Mr. Josef Anta dies you are really really sad and so on and so on but to be honest uh, as a young guy you don't give a shit about politics you mm -hmm. are interested more in ducktails and everybody said oh go to hell we don't care we want to check the Walt Disney cartoons and that moment was like that's like the generation moment for us Hi, this is Fluffy Eric, and I'm here with Attila. He's going to be giving a tour. So, can you tell us a little bit about Budapest Club? Yes, yeah, so uh, it's a small sightseeing company, and uh, usually we do like a small group tours, like six, seven people max, to make it all those to, like, more like personal. And we never show the mainstream touristy things like the Hero Square, Parliament, Castle District. You can find it on your own. But the best way to understand the city or like the society better is to see street art. I, Eric, have been to Budapest many times, but this is our fifth time together as a couple and our first walking tour. So guys, this mural is dedicated to the refugees in general. This is also commission-based art. The money is not from the government. They don't support any of the refugees. The money was from the UN Refugee Agency. And as I mentioned, this is dedicated to the uh, refugees. And this refers to a really famous picture. Do you remember which one? No? It was a cover of the National Geographic in the 80s. The girl of Afghanistan. And that was really the really iconic face of the refugees. i show you. I'm pretty sure. Just a sec. This one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, guys are different. Of course, it's not one-to-one, -one, but the artist uses a source of inspiration. And there's also uh, a text over there by the One family told them, I buy one is too much. Uh, you have one difference. The refugee girl. This is Budapest's historic Jewish quarter, District 7, also known as Erzsébet Baros, where you will find synagogues like this one, Ramba. We also stay nearby. And it looks really different from the previous one, what you already uh, saw. So this is not commission-based street art, this is more like the abstract, real street art on that sense. And this is pretty recent, uh, been here only three years, done by a Spanish street artist. His name is uh, Okuda San Miguel, art name as you can see on the right hand corner, Okud Art. Uh, Okud O K U D A R T. Okud Art. So that's his Instagram? Yes. Uh, and as I mentioned, he's a Spanish guy. He is one of the most uh, prominent street artists nowadays, let's say. He is really famous. So he, he made murals not only in Europe, uh, but not only in USA, South America, even in Hong Kong, in Tahiti, everywhere. Uh, and as I mentioned, this mural is not commission-based, but somehow uh, this uh, street art has still a connection with this neighborhood and history of this country, especially the Second World War. Yeah, so you can see that guy over there with a small funny mustache. His name is An. Hell San Breeze, uh, also known as <laughs> Angel of Budapest. Uh, the thing is, the guy was working here during the Second World War. He was an um, uh, employee of the Spanish Embassy and he saved uh, 5,000 Hungarian Jews' life. He issued fake passports, so before the deportation started in this country, those Hungarian Jews left the country, so they survived the Holocaust. That's the story, and uh, as I mentioned, his name is Angel Sandris, also known as Angel of Budapest. You understand the metaphor behind this, the symbol behind this, uh, Angel of yeah, this uh, city. And it was a, a film based on uh, his life as well, Angel of Budapest. Maybe you can check my interesting thing. And that's the guy over there. And if you want to speak something about the artistic perspective, we can mention two things at least. Uh, the really vibrant colors, what the artists like to use, the red one, the green one, and so on. And also check the really geometric shapes. Uh, 
check the two ladies' nose, looks like a cat also like an ice cream, or check the tits also uh, made of this geometric shape. So this is the artist's really, really typical style. So each time he makes street art like this, usually he makes uh, really similar ones like this. We're just taking a break from our little tour and we're going to talk with Attila, the okay. owner of Budapest Flow. Yeah, exactly. So, why we started the, the best Budapest Flow? Right? Yeah. So, uh, I started this company four years ago and first I did tours around this ruin bars. These are the cool and trendy bars. But what I mentioned, the last couple of years they was they were more or less tours, they are focusing on the, this pub crawls, just getting drunk really fast and visit the bars without knowing the background, without knowing the story. So I decided to do uh, tours around ruin pubs late afternoon, there's no welcome drinks, small groups, more or like focusing on like more educated and more intellectual people to show you the, all the history of the ruin bars, how this neighborhood changed in the last couple of years. And then also this neighborhood, there were so many, many uh, new street art pieces and I was always interested in street art, so I decided to do street art tours like this one that we are making. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, tour. The reason why, one one hand, there's always something new, something new stickers, something new paint stuff, something new wall paintings, murals. So I have to be always like up to date on that sense. So I, I, or each, even on the tour, I find something new one which is still interesting for me. And the other uh, tour, what I really like to do, we have one neighborhood. It's called District Eight. Used to be really slummy, really bad, dodgy. 10, 15 years ago, and now it's totally changing, totally gentrifying. But we are in the middle of this whole gentrification, and this is also really like really interesting. That's the more like more or less the less touristic part of the uh, downtown. It's totally not visited by tourists, unfortunately. But I guess in a, lot, in a couple of five. 10 years later and it will be more like popular but now it's really interesting it's full with like hidden bars smaller bars only visited by locals some cool art galleries art neighborhoods still really beautiful interesting buildings but a bit still like a dodgy what you like the most about budapest are you originally from here? Uh, actually, no, I'm a countryside guy. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I moved here to study at the university, one of the university, and I've been living here for 21 years, so half of my life. So sometimes I feel like I feel like a tourist here, even if I walk in the streets. Okay, something new building, I haven't noticed, I didn't know. So like to do the job is still like fun for me on that sense. You have any funny story with a tourist or something that happened that was a surprise or, or a funny or a weird moment during the tours during you had? During the tours? That was, especially dealing with people, there are always yeah, something. Yeah, I met so many different type of people all over the world. Uh, yeah, we have like, the, as I already mentioned, this pub cross, this bachelor party, stack dudes. So like the Brits, they have really bad reputation here, they're drinking so fast. and. The, yeah. It happened a couple of times. I don't know why people they're not reading the text of the tour description, and it's totally written that this is not a pub crawl, this is not about getting drunk. But still, some of the people they expect like just to drink ten beers and don't understand. This happens like once a year. Uh, but so these were like the bad experiences. But like. I would say like 75% of the people, they're really nice, they're really interested in uh, things, they have so many questions, they want to ha have a, like a deeper layer of the city. Of course some people, they are not really interested in anything, just like make 200 pictures and put in instantly on Instagram and get 200 more likes. <laughs> this is not my favorite type of like guest, let's say, but this is their choice. But like most of the people I, I have met so nice and intellectual, really nice people. If I go in a city, I always find the street art tours. That's the best way to understand the, the deeper layer and the alternative side. So this uh, year I've been to Spain, Valencia in Catalonia region, not far from Bala, uh, Barcelona. 
and I signed up for the street art tour. It was really interesting. Not only to see the street art, but to hear the local stories and all the things. So guys, uh, this is also a sticker, as you can see, done by a young Hungarian street artist, a guy. He works as a web designer for an IT company, and his name is uh, Mark. Uh, and art name, if you want to f check on Instagram, 0036 Mark. And guys, 036 Mark. And guys, what do you think? What does 0036 refers to? 007? No, 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 something else. Zero, zero. 36 is the area code. Good one, country code of UK. Like plus 44 is USA, plus one is uh, USA and Canada, plus 36 is Hungary. Right. So I'm the Hungarian guy. And uh, he's almost like uh, old as me. So uh, he was young in the 80s, he was born in the 80s. And the guy, he mixes uh, usually like comics and all the like cultural references back to from the 80s. You know, we had communism here for 45 years, and he mixes with like contemporary things or like historical things. And uh, just to understand the context, uh, you can see this. Do you know DuckTales, yeah, the Walt Disney cartoon? And again, like historical context. So during the 70s and 80s, when I was young, back at my childhood, usually we were always just checking the different communist countries' uh, comics, like from Hungary, of course, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Soviet Union at that time, but uh, we were not allowed to check the Walt Disney cartoons. And when the communist system failed in 1989, as we changed the system from the uh, communist to the capitalist, then we get the, the capitalist brand like McDonald's, Costa, Walmart, Tesco and so on and of course then we were allowed to watch uh, the Walt Disney cartoons. But imagine guys, uh, for a young guy it was a re really big deal that that finally we have the, have the opportunity to check the Walt Disney cartoons including DuckTales. It was a really uh, important moment on my uh, childhood in the early 90s. On each Sunday afternoon, the Walt Disney cartoons were shown on the TV, especially DuckTales. And for my generation, for the artist generation, uh, most of the seats were empty. On Sunday afternoon, everybody was checking the TV, checking the, watching the DuckTales. And uh, you can see the title of this street art is not DuckTales, but Antal Tales. So you can see that guy, this one. Uh, his name is Josef Antal. Maybe you have heard about, no? Not yet. Uh, actually, he was the first uh, uh, prime minister after the fall of communism. So he was the first democratic elected way of uh, prime minister of this country, Josef Antal. Okay? Antal, that's his name. And uh, unfortunately, he had cancer, so he died before his term finished. And when did he die? Of course, Sunday afternoon. And as I mentioned, Sunday afternoon, that was the event for my generation that everybody was uh, checking the uh, uh, DuckTales about Disney cartoons. And finally it was interrupted and it was announced, unfortunately, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Josef Anta dies, you are really, really sad and so on and so on. But to be honest, uh, as a young guy, you don't give a shit about politics, you mm -hmm. are interested more in DuckTales. And everybody said, oh, go to hell, we don't care, we want to check the Walt Disney cartoons. And that moment was like, that's like the generation moment for us. And this story is obvious for my generation, who was young in the 80s. Ask any of the Hungarians, everybody remembers Walt Disney and Dr.S. and Alta József as he died. But ask any of the younger people who was born after the fall of communists, like who is now like 25, nobody knows his story. So this is about like generation stories. the bus or when it sits on the train and there's one more unfortunately somebody overtaked but still I want to show you the artist is unknown it's about politics so you can see the guy he is the prime minister Viktor Orban and can you see this is the holy crown the holy crown this was the, is the national symbol for us uh, there's the symbol of the Christianity so, uh, first king Saint Stephen Saint Ishtman therefore they call the basilics received the crown from the Pope in the 11th century so therefore this country is recognized as a Christian country and as you can see somebody adds the holy crown into the head of the prime minister uh, to emphasize <laughs> to show you hey, you are not acting like a president but you are acting like a king and now the, the holy crown is in the parliament 
We just ended our tour with Attila and we paid for the tour. <laughs> it was not a partnership. I paid for the tour. It's an excellent tour if you're really into street art. Tell us the guy to contact. Uh, BudapestFlow.com It was a great tour. Strongly recommend it. Uh, getting this kind of tour is very interesting because especially meet somebody local. They can show you around, explain things. And in things this, that we wouldn't normally learn about. In this case, in his case, he lo loves arts and culture. So he just not just talk about the murals. He explain the history, the background of things. Political information. He show pictures of other things to give us examples. So he really loves what he's talking about. You can tell from the way he speaks about it. And he has other kind of tours, other lengths of tours. There are many interesting things so if you're in Budapest look into him look for him definitely look for Budapest flow it's really cool like we said we pay there's no propaganda just like to recommend interesting things to do and it's very helpful so every very time now helpful. walk in Budapest to see different arts you're gonna think about the tour especially think that things have a meaning it's not just it's not just a cubic there's something else behind that yeah, they're trying to say something yes so now we go, so follow us, subscribe to us, click like on the bell to let yourself know that we have a new video out. Do you like culture? Write a comment. Do you like this kind of, uh, 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 murals, art? Do you like this kind of thing? Have you been to on a similar tour? Yes, in your city or another city. Let us know. And most important, importantly, stay fluffy.